Welcome to Unmuted. We got your esports and gaming hot topics, hot opinions, and hot ladies, and a mute button to level the playing field. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Duan. And I've been warned by producer Tyler that apparently I'm not supposed to mute myself. Oh. And I've been given a strike. But I don't care much for baseball, so I don't care, Tyler. Eat it. What up? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, Lisa! Uh, what? Listen, if you have no idea who we are or what the <laughs> heck we're doing, that's cool. You're new. Welcome. Producer Tyler has got two minutes on the board and topics to be discussed at the bottom of your screen. That's right. And at any point in time, when one of us gets out of line and definitely needs to be shut up, the other can hit the mute button, putting us out of our misery. Look at her already. Anyway, <laughs> so let's get the show on the road with some unhappy Fortnite pros. What's new? Mm, in a new update, Epic Games revealed that it is banning stretch screen resolutions from competitive play. Doesn't sound like a big deal by itself, but it's the latest in a string of changes that have pros and streamers up in arms. Someone even hacked the official Fortnite account to protest the updates. And Mr. Fortnite himself, Ninja, even said on stream that until Epic reverts the changes, he will no longer be playing solos. E. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, so Lisa, do you think these changes are hurting Epic in the long run? You know what's bad when Ninja steps up and is like, I'm know. not playing solos. Well, he hasn't canceled the game completely. He's like, yeah. I'm just not playing solos. solos. Yeah. Um, but. I don't know. It seems like Epic isn't listening to its people, but at the same time, at the same time. So, okay, context. So, yeah. Epic Games is doing this because they want, I guess, even like playing ground because there's sure. a tournament coming up. The World Cup is coming up. Yeah. So, they want everyone to just be on standardized monitors. Mm -hmm. Fair. We get that. Yeah. But the issue here is that, you know, everyone's kind of played on their own monitor sizes mm -hmm. and their own customized settings and all that stuff. So, they just don't want to adapt. Right. So, but isn't that fair on Epic's part though? Like for a fair game? I completely agree that it's fair of Epic to update or just make these changes, especially for the scene where there's going to be competitors mm -hmm. playing on an even playing field. That's what you want, don't you? I don't understand what the complaining is about. Sure, you can't have the bigger ratio, so you can't see more of the map, but it's not fair if the guy next to you can't do the same thing. You want it to be even Steven. I don't no, understand the complaint. No, but here's the thing. If, so most players like to play on a bigger like widescreen yeah. ratio. Why don't everyone just okay. play on the wider screen? So it's still equal, it's still even, yeah. but it's on a wider screen that most people are used to, isn't it? Why okay. wouldn't Epic go that way instead? Because uh, then I guess Epic would be upsetting the people that don't have that option Ooh. and haven't had that option. But this is a rule for competitive, right? This yeah. is just a rule for competitive. So why don't they just implement this rule for the competitive scene? That just makes more sense. Epic, okay. hello guys? Okay, fair. Fair enough. Right? If that's the case and this is just being implemented in the competitive scene and all the competitors are calling for it, then yes, give the competitors what they want. If yeah. this has something to do with the fact that they're also mixing in casuals or newcomers to the game yeah. at these tournaments, because I feel like they're opens and uh, they can. It's up, man. It's world Cup. No, no, no I, noobs are coming out for this one. I mean, maybe they want some noobs to come out. Maybe they maybe want Ninja's some. Maybe Ninja's just whiny. Oh, maybe he's oh. hitting this wall. He's hitting some wall now. Yeah, he's I, all like, I'm the, I'm the, you know? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I feel that. Um, well, anyways, time to move on. In oh, chat, guys, let fine. us know if you think Ninja's too whiny. Uh -oh. All right, so over in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, speaking of unhappy players, <gasps> one of the game's best players is really unhappy. TSM oh. Tweak has won multiple tournaments since the start of the year, but in a Twitter thread, he said that Ultimate was boring because it was too slow and safe. Tweak says that he never sees anything cool happen in pro play, mm. and while he does like a handful of characters, he's become bored with how the game is played. Mm -hmm. So do you agree with him? You've tried uh, Ultimate? I do, I play Ultimate now. Here's the, here's the thing, he might have a point, <gasps> because uh, if I can play and win at a competitive fighting You're game. You're winning? Yo, <laughs> down B. You're winning? Down B, Kirby, yeah. Down I'm B. so happy for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. If I can play in yeah. a competitive game, like with other people that also can play the game of Ultimate, and win, or at least place top two, mm -hmm. or three, I feel like... <laughs> hey, can we get a fact check on that? I don't believe that. I feel that. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's like a group of four of us playing... Like three out of four I, I would place top two or three. But still, the fact that I'm beating at least one other person... <laughs> means that maybe the game is a little too easy for some and possibly could be boring for mm. pros to play. I, If he is a pro and he's saying this, and obviously there's something to it. I don't want to discredit thing, what though. he's saying. This is coming from a pro that's won a lot of things. So like yeah, maybe for him, he's good. like, this is too easy, but what about every other pro? Have you heard, like, I don't know if every other pro is saying something similar, or is yeah. it really just the best being like, oh guys, this is too best. easy. Yeah. Oh, this game is so easy. Like, it's, if you just complaining. And this is a complaint that a lot of pros are having with a lot of developers because they feel like they're giving oh, casuals no. 
or noobs or people that aren't as skilled in video games an opportunity to shine. And like, I can't fault the developers for doing that because their bottom line, of course, is money. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, here's the iconic Marissa line. It's, it's all, all about, about the money. money. <laughs> <laughs> that no, was not even planned. That I was mean, good. I mean, I just, I can't, like, I want to side with the pros for sure because obviously I love them, I respect them, I want them to shine. Yeah. And if this is what they're going to complain about, obviously they need to jump over to another game or go back to Melee. Oh, but isn't that the problem with, like, when they released Smash 4, people said it was yeah. also too easy, which is why yeah. they stuck with Melee. And now Ultimate's out, and now they're saying it's still too easy. Mm -hmm. So you think Melee's going to come back, even though it's not even going to be at EVO? Like, oh, I don't know. We can't or, just keep going back. Or developers and publishers need to make another option for pros and literally step up. A pro version of every game. Pro version of every game. Let's print that! Time to move on in the new update for Apex Legends. Developer Respawn accidentally added in a time penalty for people who leave games early. Respawn disabled the feature pretty quickly, saying that it was supposed to be added later, but many fans have since demanded that the penalty be added back in now. They want people who quit the game in the middle of a match to be punished, regardless of the reason. Honestly, I mean, feels for that. Lisa, I mean, we all know that you rage. We all know that you rage and rage quit all the time when playing games. Don't freaking lie. Prove, Don't lie. Prove it. I can't right now. <laughs> but watch Green Room. If okay. you watch Green Room, you can see Lisa actually I've, raging because I've, she is a sore loser. First of all, I've technically never rage quitted. I just get really quiet okay. and upset. Okay? And I get really she, into it. The inner rage. Wait, hold on. Respawn, this yeah. isn't... I don't get it. Is this like a, a new development? This is a thing that's been implemented in many games. It's like if you quit games in the middle of it or you in the queue, like you don't, you know, no, press the yes button I mean, right not, away. Not enough. Not enough games. Like if you, I feel like if you're playing a competitive game of like Chell online and you quit because a lot of people What's quit because they're game freaking of babies. Are you What's serious? competitive game of Chell? online. Are you serious? Oh no, when people quit, Marissa, we're talking competitive they, here. Come they, on. They, we're talking Yo, competitive, guys. salt on sports, esports, girl. Can't have it. Can't have it. But listen, stop, stop right now. How can I mute her hand movements? <laughs> no, I want uh, people take the L. They just they quit. They take the L, but they can't in a team match, right? So obviously there's got to be something, some kind of punishment put into place. I like that there's a punishment. There should be time punishment. And yes, I agree. Bring it back now, respawn. Let's go because I hate whiny babies that just quit the game. Also, but to be fair, to be fair, Camille had to leave a game early the other day, and she got absolutely trashed by her teammates. But it's because her nephew was crying in the other room. She had to go tend to him. Aww. You know what I mean? There's also like real life that comes into play. So. Uh, the time penalty actually does make sense though because no. it, it's just time. No, 100%, it's just time. Just wait out. She can tend to her nephew, come back, and live life. I should think Respawn is way like late on this whole thing because mm. League of Legends has had this forever. Literally, in game, if you want to like give up, yeah. you can you take a vote, right? A majority vote, you oh. can leave. So like that's a fair way to leave the game. Like okay. that's just the standard. And Rainbow yeah. Six Two has implemented mm -hmm. a bunch of new rules for like friendly fire that if you're killing people on purpose and being toxic, you can actually put them on a timeout, basically. Mm. So like, Respawn, what are you waiting for? Okay, well the game just came out, like how many tits? Like, I relax. mean, I'm just saying Respawn, get back on that. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> lastly, we have another retirement in the Overwatch League that reminds us that we're all too oh, damn old. God. Toronto Defiant DPS Stellar announced yesterday that he would be retiring from the game due to personal reasons. Mm. This comes as a pretty bad time because Toronto only has two other DPS players and stage two of the Overwatch League begins tonight. Yeah. The Defiant have yet to announce Stellar's replacement. Mm. So do you think this is kind of bad timing on Stellar's part? He's kind of leaving them hanging. Um, uh, okay, well, it says for personal reasons, so yeah. I feel like personal reasons are always kind of bad timing. He did you tweet just don't out about it. You don't expect it. He tweeted out. He actually wrote out a tweet. He said, I am truly sorry to announce my sudden retirement news to mm. all my fans and friends. I have made my decision due to some personal stress issues mm. from mentality and general lifestyle-wise. Mm. And he, then he thanks his fans. So, like, okay. this sounds like a deeper thing yeah. that we got to kind of understand. You know, for like, sure. burnout is a thing in esports. 100. And he's taking actually a really bold step to admit that. Yeah. Yeah. and step out, which is Absolutely. a good call. No, 100%. Like, listen, if, you're, if your mind isn't with it, like, you're also going to let your team down too, yeah. right? So if you're not 100 in it to win it, then yes, it is time to take a step back. It's time to maybe step down, and that's exactly what he's doing. I respect the hell out of this guy. That's amazing. And also yeah. to, like, imagine leaving a team with already, they just launched. They have so many freaking fans, so yeah. many supporters. Like, he's been such a staple in our community as well. They had a great first season, honestly. Yeah. They finished fourth in the regular season. First, so, this is the first so time good. in the league for them. And they were predicted to 
mean, they, they have the underdogs. Exactly. So, like, so much respect to that org and that yeah. team. And it's good on Seller's part that he's recognizing, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. Yeah. I gotta step back. And that's um, totally fair. Yeah. I no mean, hate there. No, not at all. But to the point of the now they only have two yeah. DPS players in rotation, I mean, they could also mm. just switch to the GOATS mentality of playing the game where there's just no DPS players. And oh. then that would be a strat. Or just like rotate maybe one in there. I don't know. I, I don't, don't want to call strats. That. I don't want to call strats. But they did just let go of their strategic coach. Oh. So, so what's happening? Maybe oh, I should be hired. And should start to. Where is that? No, what? you're not. Okay, okay. You're not just put it out ready. There. You're not ready. <laughs> With your mercy, you're not ready. <laughs> how, how, do you, how do you know about that? I know about that. You talk about it all the time. You talk about it all the time. Oh, Even for Halloween last year, she was okay. mercy. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. It, okay. Let's I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mommy. Uh, now it's time to see what streamers are up to in Clip It. Our first clip comes from Dr. Disrespect, who couldn't put some respect <laughs> on Tim the Tatman's good deed. Hmm. Did you see that Timmy Tenders bought a kid computer that he met in a random duos match? What a guy says Exile is legit with a file donation. No, he did not buy this kid a computer. What he did is, yeah, um, yeah, I need a connection. Yeah, I, uh, right. Okay, good. Yeah, now make me look really good. Like, and then I'll tweet it out. And then I'll, and I'll tell my chat to tweet it out so that it gets way more likes and retweets. Um, yeah, and it'll make me really look like a good guy. Uh-huh. Let's make that happen. All right. I love you as a sponsor. Okay, cool. It's going to cost me that much? Why? Why is it going to cost me that much? Yeah, but um, I know, I, I know, I know it's just a six month contract, but come on, guys. You guys got to do this for me. I got to look good. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay. That's what happened. Oh, man. You know what, though? Like, I can't even throw salt on that. Like, do you think that he's wrong? I kind of think he's wrong. Really? I actually think that's like. Okay, listen, even if he got a free computer from a sponsor and he didn't yeah. pay out of pocket himself, mm -hmm. he still went out of his way to make that call. And like, he's giving someone yeah. a free computer. That guy doesn't care where he, it came from. That's true. So like, why do we gotta be so mean? That's it's true. Still a free gift. Uh, okay, but to the doctor's point, uh, he could have said that it wasn't for me, it was from his sponsor or from this company or from, you know what I mean? Like, you know, to say okay. like, yeah, or like shout Tim, out to- Cause Tim the man's the first guy to bluff on the internet. No, like, that's thing. Like there doesn't need to be, it, but you know what? It's, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with like sports as well. When like hockey players give hockey sticks to players that they're giving their sticks. Well, actually like the, the company paid for that. And, and I know that like the big time execs get really pissed off when players do it because it actually costs them money <laughs> when they're giving all these sticks. Yeah, that yeah, like, yeah. even though they're sponsored by certain people, they don't get that stuff for free. They still have to pay out of pocket every time but stick is given away. It still upsets them. It's of course, it makes it honestly look good still. Well, yeah. So be chill, guys. Absolutely. So it happens everywhere in any kind of industry. We yeah, get yeah. these things. Sometimes we get them for free. And listen, like I'm also like guilty of it. I've given people things that I've gotten too. Like why haven't like, I all gotten kinds anything, of, Marissa? Oh, oh, what uh, the? Heck? We're gonna. I'm, I'm we're sorry. gonna talk about this. All right. So <laughs> have you ever worked so hard just to see everything you worked hard to build crumble in front of you? Oh God. Well, Nalavan knows all about that. Let's see. Okay. Oh no. no! Oh no! I don't want to know. What's happening? What? Something's about to happen. No. Yo, no! That's, don't spin the chair. That's that a litty setup, though. Yo, is he gonna get hurt? <gasps> oh my God! It looks so good. What? That is true. <gasps> oh! Ah! No! <laughs> that was like perfect timing. Oh! Eh? Uh. That makes me so sad. I mean, poor baby. You know what, maybe you should hire baby. someone professionally to do that for you. <gasps> no. If oh. that's not your thing, because that's dangerous. And I know, but we don't, we're trying to save money, we're trying to use our <laughs> skills, we're trying to use our, well, you know, everything we have in our repertoire, we're supposed yeah. to YouTube this stuff, and like, we can do it at home ourselves, like DIY, bitch. Yeah. Use double DIY. tape? <laughs> <laughs> Double-sided <laughs> tape or something? <laughs> like, but I feel bad, I hope it didn't crack. I think that's just the bottom line, like, I hope oh, it was definitely salvageable. cracked, yo. Oh, I know, gosh. feels bad, man. Oh. Feels bad, man. Let's get an F in chat. Evan Jet right now pays them respect. Okay, <laughs> and now it's time for your favorite time and mine. When we scroll through the Twitters for all the beautiful things the pros have been saying, the Rocket League community was all a flutter with the recent announcement of their esports shop. Aussie RL player CJ expressed his excitement by saying, You're dead right, we've been bloody waiting. Bluey RL has had six girlfriends since the org items were first speculated. Damn, so, Lisa, exposed. my question to you is. Yeah. As one of Bluey's many girlfriends, how do you feel about this? What? I've never what? even met the guy. That's it was only true. an online thing, I swear. No, I knew it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I knew it. I'm Check kidding. Check your DMs. Check your DMs. Nice to meet you, Bluey. All right. Uh, first of all, 
sorry, he's underage, Kate. We, that's, oh my a, god, I did not know joke. that. This is just a joke, he's really young. That was totally jokes, I'm Rita. sorry. I do love you, Bluey, I love you, Bluey. But like in a platonic way. Yeah, yeah, totally, like, like I love you as a friend, always. Why'd you gotta bring me I'm into sorry. this now? The cops gonna be knocking on my door. Yo, check your DMs. <laughs> Don't check my DMs. <laughs> um, so, back to the topic here. First of all, why you gotta throw Bluey under the bus like that? What do you mean under the bus? What? You're hot. What are you saying? No, not me. What? <laughs> Stop making this about me. I'm saying, first of all, what if Bluey's girlfriends didn't know about each other and like now he's in trouble? What if we don't hear from no. Bluey the next couple of days? Like, no, they all know about each other. It's all on Twitter. It's fine. Except what for nobody knew about Lisa until now. Hi. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> okay, this is totally off the wall. Let's move on. All right, in a move that surprises no one, Slasher's been stirring the old Twitter pot mm. yesterday in response to a lot of complaints from some game, game journalists. Yep. In their reviews, Slasher says, I'm down for an easy mode in Sekiro if they called it game journalist mode. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that got a lot of journalists very triggered. So many. You covered, you know, games. So many. How did you react to this one? Okay, I wasn't offended because I understand Slasher. Like, I understand how he tweets, mm -hmm. I understand that he likes to stir the pot, I understand that he was just making jokes. I understand that. Was so, he, he was just making jokes. Like, yeah, I mean, there's a little truth in every joke, so that's why he came up with it, obviously. Yeah. So many people triggered, so many people attacking him over it. Every, it's just so crazy, because, like, I came from the gaming journalist side, and I cover esports, so, like, I empathize with both sides. Yeah. So I understand why they would be upset, which is why I tweeted, like, listen, it's just a joke, can we all just get along? And some people replied, like, well, Twitter, nobody gets along, first of all, <laughs> which yeah. is, that's real. Yeah. And uh, people are saying that, no, like, when people like this, are stirring the pot. Everybody in the esports world obviously believes it because they don't. They don't know journal, game journalists at all. Yeah. The thing is, Why to, are they to be fair, okay, because because a lot of game journalists have been called out for not being finishing a game. Oh. Yeah, and and not being the best gamers. Listen, That's like nice. I. I understand why you would say that. Like, I'm not the greatest gamer of all time, but I love and appreciate games, and I also yeah. love and appreciate developers, which is why I'm able to play the game and give the developers the love they deserve, or hate if they deserve it too, if the game is broken. Yeah. I, I played as much as I possibly could in the time frame that I had before review needed to go out. So a lot of these game journalists are under a time crunch when they yeah. first get the game. They do their best to finish it. Sometimes they can't, especially if the game is very really difficult hard. and they need to replay it over and over and over again. So the, I have love for both parties. Parties. No shade, no hate, no salt. Understand where both are coming from. It's just again going back all to right, the pros Marissa, versus you know, the Joes. Speaking of time That's crunch, all it is. the show does have okay, a time oh my limit. God. Are you? We're good. Never mind then. We're good. A right, new contender. Why the post about it? <laughs> Shave face. A new contender enters the ring for profound thoughts. Melee pro tempo storm zero tweet. <laughs> The girl at the bank pronounced my last name Barrios as burritos, <laughs> and then I died laughing in the bank, and she was so embarrassed and apologetic. Aw, this is like so G-rated and adorable for these profound thoughts. I have maybe to say, maybe it was lunchtime and she was hungry. Aw, muffin. Yeah. But have, but okay. First of all, I know that I've mispronounced your name, like last name, like once or twice. Once so, or twice. How do you feel once about it? Once or twice. You still pronounce it wrong to this day, Marissa. It's only four letters, Marissa. <laughs> It's Dwan. It rhymes with swan. It's very simple. It's not Don. I'm not related to the hockey player. Whatever his name, Don. Shane Don. Shane Don. Shane Don. Whatever that guy. It's Dwan. Okay, but it's spelled I understand like Shane zero. Don. And it's D O A N. So how would you pronounce it at home? Guys, just be real. Be honest. Respect. Be honest. Respect my creativity was my last name. <laughs> <laughs> Respect how about your people culture. Pronounce it. Respect it's Dwan. Respect me. I'm sorry. All right, let's move on to some crowd controls, which is basically stuff you guys on the internet have created or shared. Mm -hmm. So this first one was posted by Meme Deli mm -hmm. on Reddit that depicts a life cycle most gamers can relate to. Aww. All right, let's check this out. Okay. So at the very top there, excitement. It always starts with excitement. Oh man, the yeah. trailer looks awesome. This is gonna, the game I'm waiting to play. And then you know you move on to trust. I'm still gonna pre-order this game. Yeah. You know, like you're committed. Yeah. The game gets released, and all of a sudden, the servers are down. Gameplay oh. is broken. I have to buy half of the content. Say what? And then anger. That does it. I'm never buying a game from this publisher again. And then caution. Hey, wait, hang on. Remember this happened last time? There's a new game about to come out. But guys, we should be careful. And then we go back to the trailer gets released, and we're excited all over again. That is just the life cycle is of this, a game. This is about EA, or? I did not say that EA. Oh, I, did, uh, I did throw some shade on Kel. I, uh, you 
so did. Uh, yeah, no, obviously I love EA. You I love the devs at EA. I love everybody at EA. Uh, that was just jokes. But, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> like, just jokes. Make it relax. Uh, no, I, I do feel that. I also feel like that is kind of relatable to, missing a couple steps, relatable to, like, movie trailers as well, because that new Joker trailer came out. I'm so hype about it. It's so good, It's guys. so good, but, like, I'm so scared that... By DC? Because yeah, DC I, has ruined you? No, no, DC does make decent... Um, DC, decent? DC does <gasps> make decent. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> they do sometimes. I mean, except for Suicide Squad. But we don't talk about that. Oh, actually, no. There's been a lot of movies. Wonder Woman. That. Whoops. Yeah, Wonder Woman was good, but maybe that was the only. Oh, oh. God. Oh, oh God. my God. They ruined. They ruined They're... Ben Affleck. He could have been Batman, and now he can't anymore. And they've ruined League, him Justice... forever. Oh, oh no. Justice League was all right too. But all the right. point is, this cycle is just something that happens all the time. This just happens Fair. all the time. But you know what? We still stick in this cycle because we. That's we can't right. stop ourselves. It's like our flow. <laughs> our next post makes me feel like I need to get one of these friends. Frame Trapped on Twitter shared that he made this for a friend. Let's see it. He Ooh. tweeted that it's all made from one American oak piece and joined from the casing, then coated and laser etched in the final piece. That's exciting. He said it was possibly oh. the most nervous he's been when laser etching. That looks Dang. amazing. Yo, that's really pretty. That is amazing art well yeah for sure and like how nervous would you be it's like you've set everything up you've put you've got the wood there you're good yeah. everything's sanded it's coated everything's ready to go you and then you, you only get one shot one opportunity dun, 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 <laughs> this dun, dun, is everything you ever wanted <laughs> okay. lose yourself okay, okay. <laughs> but the point is that's a, don't mute me that was let me rap <laughs> Let me live my dream. But the point is, Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> that was actually amazing art. And yeah. I think he said his friend got it. Like, it was a surprise. Yeah. And honestly, where can I get a friend like that? I know. Because I want personalized stuff. Because it's not going to be me. I know. You already <laughs> said before that you give presents to everyone except me. I got it, Marissa. That's... I love you. I give you shade in the form of love. <laughs> you can take it back. Where's the receipt? <laughs> All right. Now I want to move on. Uh, this last post. Posted by Nubex shows that no. supermarkets really are branching out on what they're selling these days. Let's take a look. Ah, What's that? If you look at the little receipt thingy, it says yeah. Frag Booster. They're selling Frag, frag Boosters. Booster? It actually it's short for it? Fragrance Booster. Aww. <laughs> so they're selling CSGO Boost now in supermarkets, which is okay, sick. Okay, that's fun. That would be a fun little insider like right. stocking stuffer. Imagine there's like an aisle season. for esports. Like an aisle like oh League of Legends hacks. <laughs> like, this, is a, this is a dance move. Yeah. Uh, attack. Oh god, white people dancing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, we need to, we oh need to end this. ASAP, listen, that's all for today on Unmuted. Hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, you can always hit us up on our socials at Squad State with the things you want us to react to or discuss. Until next time, we'll see you later.